Okay, hey guys, I'm back. I'm back. And um I went and looked for some more mods. And I found a really really good one for your Xbox controller. Now I can program in eight favorites. So, let's check it out, shall we? Um I want the heal to be on one as usual. That can be on two. This silver great sword is for undead. That's going to be on three. That's basically the control pad up. And then four. I want that to be the dragon shield. So I have to do is hold the left bumper. That will be your sprint. Hold it down and hold the left control pad down. And then number five. Number five is like um, the right control pad. Um, let's see, what do I want? Um, number five. Well, let's put number six as lesser ward. Number five. Uh, might as well just go to bow. And we already got six. Seven. I want to go ahead and. Um, Go to tech life and hold down the sprint again, the bumper and hold back. Back is basically your weight. And go down to clairvoyance, hold down the sprint, left bumper, hold down start. That will be number eight. Okay, let's get out of that. Go ahead and uh, gonna go equip one. That's my heal. Two my great sword the skyforge great sword three is the great sword that do a lot of damage to undead and then of course the four will be my shield now um i kind of messed up there let's go back and get dragon shield not shield but um this maze put on because if I would have done that right, see, if I had these, come in here and get four, there's a shield, okay, get five, which will be the bow, six, will be the, uh, the lesser ward, basically it just blocks incoming spells. All right, now seven is detect life, and eight will be clear points. Got everything I need, and oh, I can also do a quick save. Um, I think I need to do this and hold, huh? It's supposed to quick save for me. Well, I don't know. I'm not too worried about the uh, the quick save. Um, because I can always press to quick save anyway, or you know you can always go to wait and just wait. So that's it. It's a beautiful, wonderful mod. I can just switch spells on command. I mean don't even have to go into my menu anymore look at that great sword here I come healing spell you know clear voice just that quick so anyway um I decided to go ahead and um, go talk to the uh, the graybeards climb the, uh, the 7,000 steps and um, start getting some of my powers because I haven't even talked to the Graybeards yet so I might as well do that now I'm um, gonna go ahead and try to go ahead and finish out the uh, the Graybeard stuff and get married by my 
my horse along, you. All right, let's go. I might as well marry my companion since I take her with me everywhere. She'll be a good source of income every day as well as a movable store. So that's pretty awesome. Anyway, moving on here. It's going to be a pretty big climb. I don't think you need to talk to him. He's just going to tell you to watch out when you come up here. Yeah, I definitely like that mod a lot. Cat! Um... Come on, let me loot you. There we go. I'm back on my horse and move on again. Up ahead here is going to be a pretty nasty troll. And like I was telling you guys, this troll can regenerate his health. First time I've ever seen an ice wave up there. Slippery little sucker. Ooh, that was a nice shot. Look at her. Shooting him. I'll take that. Alright. Let's go, horse. Got to love modders, man. They make your life so much easier. I mean, having two buttons to map all of the skills you have is a little crazy. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. There's got to be more than 7,000 steps. And you don't need to talk to her either because she's just sitting there resting. Keep on climbing up here. This is the throat of the world. Look at the view. Gorgeous. Okay, the, uh, the troll is up here. I don't want my horse to get in the way. Come on, Tro. The horse still comes. Get him, horse. I got his attention. Get him, horse. Wow, that thing's got a reach. Ooh, that's what you get. Freaking troll. Pick up these arrows that she was shooting there. I can give it back to her later. All right, let's move on. We should be getting close now. I remember the first time I came through here and um I was getting my butt kicked by that troll. That first uh 4 hours I played, I came up here and the troll was kicking my butt. I had to run all the way to the temple and got have the gray beer save me. <laughs> yeah, he went inside the uh the temple and everything. Of 
But we should be there soon. Real soon, I hope. So yeah, I may go ahead and start um, the uh, doing the mage kill stuff. But I think before that, I need some more spells, like um, helping hand or healing hand or something like that. I know I need that. I think that's the only one that I'm missing now. So I might have to go back to uh, White Run and see if that mage in there got that spell. Um, take those. Alchemy. Recipes there. I think that chest is empty, yep. Okay. Since I'm not playing an archer, I really don't like to see that those arrows on me. Hello. So a dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. I'm answering your summons. We will see if you truly have the gift. Show us, Dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Okay. I don't have it equipped. Yes, I do. Dragonborn, it is you. Welcome to High Hrothgar. I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn, why have you come here? Hmm. I want to find out what it means to be Dragonborn. We are here to guide you in that pursuit. Just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the Dragonblood that came before you. You mean I'm not the only Dragonborn? You are not the first. There have been many of the Dragonblood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only Dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. Okay, I'm ready to learn. You have shown that you are Dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But, do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Uh, that remains to be seen. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thum, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, a second word in unrelenting force. Ro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Roll. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome.
Okay, um... Use your unrelenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear. I am wearing a helmet, but I got this mod where it doesn't show helmets. Which is cool. It doesn't show helmets to all the NPCs, though. Well, I, I shouldn't say all the NPCs. I should say, um... To, to all the armor that you don't want the helmets to show. Well done. Again. Next. Learn quickly. Once more. Impressive. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragon. We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Bori. Boy, that's weak. That is weak. That's why I'm trying to get it stronger now. So I can start shouting. I'm level 26 now and I haven't really used shouts. <laughs> oh man. We will now see how you learn a completely new shout. Master Bori will teach you wood, which means whirlwind. Before you can project it into a thumb. Approach Master Body and he will gift you his hand of wood. Master Wolfgar will demonstrate whirlwind sprint. Then it will be your turn. Master Bori. Rex! Wolf! Now, your turn. <laughs> Stand next to me. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. Alright, might as well go ahead and... Put it on favorite and equip it. Your quick mastery of a new thumb is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself. Thank you. What's next? You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jürgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ostengrad. Remain true to the way of the voice, and you will return. Okay. Why are dragons returning? Does it have something to do with me? No doubt. The appearance of a dragon born at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. You should focus on honing your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. Thank you, Master. I will continue my training. Good. 
Then you will be ready for whatever lies ahead. Hmm. I guess... He was a great war leader of the ancient Nords. Master of the voice or tongue. After the disaster at Red Mountain, where the Nord army was annihilated, he spent many years pondering the meaning of that terrible defeat. He finally came to realize that the gods had punished the Nords for their arrogant and blasphemous misuse of the voice. He was the first to understand that the voice should be used solely for the glory and worship of the gods, not the glory of men. Jürgen Windcaller's mastery of the voice eventually overcame all opposition, and the way of the voice was born. Okay. What is the way of the voice? The voice was a gift of the goddess Kinneris at the dawn of time. She gave mortals the ability to speak as dragons do. Although this gift has often been misused, the only true use of the voice is for the worship and glory of the gods. True mastery of the voice can only be achieved when your inner spirit is in harmony with your outward actions. In the contemplation of the sky, Kinnereth's domain, and the practice of the voice, we strive to achieve this balance. Hmm, but I don't follow your philosophy. Why help me learn the voice? The Dragonborn is an exception to all the rules. The dragon blood itself is a gift of the gods. If we accept one gift, how can we deny the other? As Dragonborn, you have received the ability to shout directly from Akatosh. We therefore seek to guide you on the proper use of your gift, which transcends the restrictions which bind other mortals. Okay, thank you. Win. Got you. All right. Um, let's go get married, shall we? Oh yeah. I guess I should uh, ask her if she wants to get married first. Let's get going. Won't lie, I am. And you? Won't lie, I am. Then it's settled. You and me. All right, <laughs> let's go get married. I need to stop by there and kill that dragon when I have time because see, I haven't been there yet. Um, let's see, go to Riften, fast travel. Might as well get married. Being single is hard, man. Believe me, it's hard. I had another run in with a thief's guild. Be careful, Leo. The Thieves' Guild has Maven Blackbriar at her back. One snap of the oh, I also forgot to mention that if you don't find... Hey, I know who you are. Hey, Sithis. Hey, okay. You're from the Dark Brotherhood, too. Uh, yeah, if you didn't find that guy to buy the amulet um, from him, he'll be in this temple right here, and it's pretty easy to find. Um, um, Let me walk out there. There's the um the B and Bard or whatever um tavern over there and the temple is just right there. You can find usually find his guard over here and there's two banters um on the front. Just go in there. And um talk to him and get it. There he is right there. Blessings of Mara upon you. I like to have a wedding at the temple. You wish to be married? It's good to see love blossoming even during these difficult times. Your wedding will be held tomorrow, from dawn until dusk. Don't tomorrow? Be Don't want to miss your own wedding. Tomorrow? Do you accept charity? Of course. I'd be more than happy to add a donation to our charity box. Right now, the best you could provide is coin. We need all the help we can get. Okay. I guess I'll donate five gold. Thank you. I can promise you that this will be put to good use. May you return to her benevolence and safety. All right. Um, shall we just wait? Let's see. Oh man, 
gonna have to wait like almost 12 hours might as well wait I mean almost 24 hours and wait for it wait for it Eleven, twelve. It should be dawn now. Who would have thought I would be getting married? There's the bride. Everybody, come in. Let's let's have a front row seat. Ah, here's the blushing bride now. Mind. Let's begin the ceremony. It was Mara that first gave birth to all of creation and pledged to watch over us as her children. It is from her love of us that we first learn to love one another. It is from this love that we learn that a life lived alone is no life at all. We gather here today under Mara's loving gaze to bear witness to the union of two souls in eternal companionship. May they journey forth together in this life and in the next, in prosperity and poverty, and in joy and hardship. Do you agree to be bound together in love, now and forever? I do. Now and forever. Do you agree to be bound together in love, now and forever? Stop the wedding! I can't go through with this! <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> okay. I do. Now and forever. Under the authority of Mara, the divine of love, I declare this couple to be wed. Ooh, achievement. I present Mary. the two of you with these matching rings, blessed by Mara's divine grace. May they protect each of you in your new life together. Well, thank you. Where are you going, honey? <laughs> she just left. <laughs> She's like, okay, I'm going. It's so good to see you again. Let's talk to her. It's an honor to see married. The keeper. It doesn't feel like I thought it would, but I'm happy. Where should we live? You could stay with me. We could live in my house. In White Run. I'll be waiting for you at home then. Okay, let's talk good to her to again. Good to see you, dear. Good to see you too, honey. Would you mind cooking something for me? I can. Here, this is fresh. I'll have another one made tomorrow. Oh, she is such a nice spouse. Okay. So, if you let her go home, she'll open up a shop. She'll say, you know, she don't want to sit around all day. She'll, she decided to open up a shop. But, Let's don't follow me. Let's not waste any time. Let's go, honey. All right. I guess we um gonna go ahead and head off to yeah I haven't killed that dragon yet let's go get some dragon scales which way will be the best way I think yeah might as well go there and then go south from there but yeah if you go home and sleep in your bed you will get the well rested and it will give you uh, an additional 12% boost to level all your skills and with the right stone the ritual stone you will get a total of 27% to level up faster alright let's go we're heading south kill some dragons and um, the vampires in this game is not as bad as the first game the first game you were taking sun damage but this game uh, I found out that um, you don't take sun damage you just don't regenerate anything um, oh, and another mod that I got is uh, a jump mod. It lets me jump higher. See how high I can jump now? 